Welcome to the week nine recap of the Pokemon Starter Elimination Game Generation 9 Edition. This time we had quite a decent amount of things happening and oh my god, it was wild. We'll start off with the elimination due to badly poison the one elimination I've been waiting for since this elimination game started. I'm sorry if you're a Piplup fan, I am a Piplup hater. I hate this thing, I hate this thing, and I'm happy that he's gone. Piplup is eliminated! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get it, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Piplup is eliminated, the first Pokemon out. Toxic Poison takes him out as he now slides into the lead there. Going again. Cyndaquil gets a light screen, prevents him from getting any bad statuses. On top of that, he's also got the Petra Barrier to prevent him from poison, so... Cynical's could be nice. On the other hand, Litten left the last time confused. Litten kinda cures its confusion, turns around, gets confused again, because apparently, Litten loves confusion. Litten loves confusion. That's all I can see here. And then we move on to the next day. And uh, as you can see, Turtle is also going down because of the poison damage. But now we have to look at the fact that Poplio now gets badly damaged. That's right. I mean, badly poisoned. I said badly damaged. Well, he got a lot of damage from the badly poisoned, so I guess he was badly damaged too. But Poplio gets badly poisoned and is now going down the list very hard. He plummets from pretty much really high up on the list he's just taking a ton of poison damage and is two turns away charmander is on the brink of the feet with just three hp remaining after all of this damage has piled up and that is just kind of really sad for him and speaking of damage that has been piling up turtwig has been poisoned and literally has been poisoned from all the way up to a ton of hp down to just five hp remaining not only that, but the top of the leaderboard has been shifting around quite a bit, as we've seen Cyndaquil and Torchic regaining some steam. So, we have leading off right now, after some double experience, we have Froakie at level 10 with 40 HP, 11 HP lead over second place, Litten with 29 HP and level 7. Froakie's getting very close to evolution there, would be a very big threat if that happens. Litten, not so much. Squirtle, still just chilling. 23 HP, third place. Let's go to the best starter Pokemon. Ooh, my SS. <laughs> Totodile, my actual first starter. Fourth place, tied with Torchic and Chespin. At 22 HP, Totodile is level 5, Torchic is level 7, and Chespin is level 9. Oh, why is that thing doing fairly well? Oh boy. My bias this is showing today. And I will let it show. Honestly, whoever wins, wins. But uh, if people can off Chespin, that'd be really nice for me, personally. Anyway, uh, Sobble, another one of my starters, 21 HP, level 5. Followed by Cyndaquil, 20 HP, level 10. Actually the closest to evolving now, just th four levels off. Then we have Squirrel Bunny with 16 HP. Then Oshawott with a Lumberry at 15 HP. Then we have Rookie, 13 HP. Quaxley, 12 HP. Poplio, who will faint in two turns. Badly Poison will do five damage in the next one. And then the next one after that, it will do six damage, eliminating him from the game. If someone votes on him, he will die in three votes. His only chance of survival is someone curing him from that Badly Poison. So, good luck to Poplio. Rowlet, sitting on eight HP. So close, so close. Turtwig, unfortunately, another one of my starters on 5 HP. And Charmander. Dang, bro. Dang. You're, you're, you're 16. You're going out 16. You're not making top. You're not making top 50, Charmander. Second cancel start about to be out. Charmander, 3 HP remaining. With that said, this game can go anywhere. Just looking at it. There's no clear leader, there's no evolutions, and I definitely feel like there are some things I can tweak about this. I'm not going to tweak the rest of the game, I feel like the game is fine how it is, but I might 
tweak the wheels a little bit since I feel like I'm not seeing enough items, but I am seeing a lot of effects that pop up. I'm seeing statuses pop up. I'm seeing the effect wheel pop up. I'm not seeing a lot of, I'm seeing weather wheels pop up. I'm not seeing a lot of item wheels pop up. And I feel like that is something I should be seeing more of since item, items are incredibly useful. And technically I should have items be more frequent than say effects since items tend to cancel out a lot of the effects and items are very useful so i mean they had a lot of strategy to it so i will probably try to figure that out so yeah anyway if you enjoyed this recap thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one after this week's streams because there's a few streams we're going to be doing this week so i'll see y'all in the next one Bye-bye.